What's someone ask in the back? What's my favorite Bible story? <laughs> thought, I heard, thought I heard somebody back there go, what's your... My favorite Bible story is um, when Jesus is arrested, and that sounds weird to say, but Jesus did get arrested. And uh, first of all, Jesus, it speaks to his character. He's the best because he just surrendered to the Roman authorities, you know? I would have played it a little different <laughs> if I was the son of God. I would go, I would go, do you guys have a warrant? <laughs> and they would go, of course, this is a high profile arrest. And they would bring out the warrant and I would just, I would um, turn it into a fish. <laughs> and I'd be like, I don't see a warrant, dude. All I see is a fish. I guess you gotta go back to headquarters and get a warrant. <laughs> now the story goes, the Roman cop is, uh, is arresting Jesus. Uh, Peter unsheaths his sword, cuts off the Roman soldier's ear. Jesus goes, stop, it's off brand for us. <laughs> There's some younger people here I'm trying to relate to. I'm trying to, re I'm trying to make it fun for the Gen Z. Jesus goes, it's off brand for us. We're not a gang. And then Jesus takes the man's ear and reattaches it. And I think that's a miracle, you know? But what's really interesting is that Roman cop kept arresting Jesus. <laughs> you would think he would turn around and maybe arrest the guy that just cut his ear off <laughs> and let the guy go who reattached it. He should say, maybe we keep this guy around you know, if nothing else, but for healthcare reasons, you know? <laughs> Surgery hasn't been invented yet, and he just reattached the ear, which is pretty amazing. But he didn't. He kept arresting Jesus. And that guy had to go home to his wife, and his wife was like, how was your day, babe? And he goes, babe, I had a wild one, okay? We go to arrest the guy who says he's God, right? His boy from behind me takes out a sword, cuts my ear off. Guy who says he's God reattaches it. Can you believe it? And his wife goes, it's probably because you don't listen. You know? I should have picked up coffee three days ago and you didn't pick up any of the coffee. And now we got nothing for breakfast tomorrow. And the guy's like, I'm kind of wishing he would have just left my ear in the dirt at this point because I don't need this. You're yelling at me and yelling is toxic and problematic. It's no longer ethnic. My least favorite story is uh, with Judas. He betrayed Jesus for 30 silver pieces. And uh, he goes to meet a Roman soldier behind the temple to get paid. And the Roman soldier puts the money up in a case and he goes, it's all there. And Judas takes it out and he starts looking at it. And uh, he goes, there's something off about these silver pieces. I can't put my finger on it, but something's off. And the Roman soldier goes, yeah, the whole Roman Empire is switching currency <laughs> to this new thing. It's called Bitcoin. <laughs> and Judas goes, what's Bitcoin? <laughs> and the Roman soldier goes, well, let me explain it to you. And about five minutes into the explanation, Judas hung himself. You guys were so amazing for me. Thank you for coming, and thank you for coming out with such great energy. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys.